Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and today I have a little 2020 wardrobe recap video for you. So I've seen a few other YouTubers film these videos and I really love them. So I thought it'd be a great way to reflect on my most worn pieces from last year and just kind of keep like a visual log for myself. So I've used my Instagram as a sort of jumping off point, looking through all the pieces that I've worn the most this year. And I wanna start off this video by saying it's mostly pants, sweaters and like accessories but I really love all the pieces that I ended up narrowing it down to because they are pieces that I wear throughout the entire year for the most part and all of these pieces I've already shown and talked a lot about on my channel if you watch my videos you'll be very familiar with these and that's kind of just the reality of having a smaller capsule wardrobe I don't have a lot of different items but the things I do have I tend to wear a lot so if you're looking to create a wardrobe with lots of solid staples that you'll get a lot of use out of then I I'm hoping that this video will be helpful to you. And I'll also include some outfit photos from throughout the year to give you an idea of how I style each of these. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first piece is the cropped chunky cardigan. This is from Betta Capsule, which is a brand that I actually just started wearing this year and I really love their pieces. They're such high quality. I've been so impressed with everything that I've tried from them. So this piece I haven't had quite as long. I believe I got it back in November, I wanna say but I've just been wearing it so much since I got it, so I really wanted to include this. And it's something that I know I'll wear a lot more throughout pretty much every season. This kind of a chunkier knit cardigan is definitely a wardrobe staple for me. This one's a little bit different from the other pieces in my closet because it is cropped, and it has quite a large oversized fit to it and really big like balloon sleeves so it's very cozy and it looks great with all of my high-waisted denim that I love to wear. It's also quite a deep v-neck so this one I do sometimes wear as a blouse and you can also wear it reversed like this it looks pretty cool. I really love the material it has sort of like a spotted pattern in it which I think just gives it a bit more like depth and interest in this color because it is this lovely like kind of tan or like warm gray color. So yeah, this is obviously a really easy neutral to pair with lots of different things in your wardrobe. And I included this in my moving capsule wardrobe too. So I got a lot of use out of it then. And because it's cropped, I think this will look really nice over, you know, like floaty dresses in the spring and summer. So I plan to wear this a whole lot more this year. Next up is a piece that I did wear throughout the year, but it's more of a wintry piece. And that is this cashmere crew neck sweater. This is from a brand called Quince. And this piece, I just rave about it a lot because it's so well made, it's nice quality, the cashmere doesn't pill or anything. And this is not quite as thick as a lot of my other sweaters that I have, but I really like to layer this over basic t-shirts just to give myself another layer of warmth. And because it's cashmere, it makes me really warm without having to throw on like a really heavy knit, which some days I'm just not really in the mood to wear. So that's where this piece really comes in handy. And you know, a gray crew neck cashmere sweater is such a wardrobe staple. It's such a timeless piece and so easy to style too. I just love it paired with like basic denim, but also it looks great with like trousers. It can be dressed up more for, you know, workwear. And in the spring, I really like to, you know, throw this on over my shoulders when I need a little extra layer when I'm out and it gets a little bit chilly. These also retail for $50, which is really well priced for cashmere. It's one of the lowest prices that I found. I believe Nottam does $75 cashmere too, which is also a very good deal. But um, yeah, I can definitely attest to the quality of this. I actually have a black um, v-neck version of this as well, and both of them hold up really well. And you know, cashmere is just so soft and so luxurious feeling, so when I want something that feels really nice for even just around the house, I usually reach for this. The third piece of knitwear I wanted to mention is the Tradlin Shelter Cardigan, which I probably feature in like a majority of my videos now. This is maybe my most worn piece in my wardrobe. I believe that I got this in the spring of last year and I've just worn it non-stop since I got it. It is a heavier knit, it's longer too, and has a big kind of oversized fit to it, so it's really cozy to wrap yourself up in. I went with a size medium. I could have gone with a small if I wanted a more fitted style, but I do like 
my knitwear to be quite oversized and it's just this lovely like cream color it looks so pristine you know with all the washes that i've put it through it's really held up nicely it doesn't get like dingy or like gray looking and I actually did a full review on this cardigan, so I'll link that on the screen and I won't go too much into detail about it here. But I just couldn't do this video without including this piece because it's just seen me through every season of the year. And I just adore this piece. I probably wear it about once a week because it's just so easy to throw on over whatever you're wearing. And if you are looking to invest in this piece, I do have a discount code, so I'll leave that in the description box below. And now, moving on to bottoms, the next piece I want to talk about are these stretchy black cropped wide leg pants from Encircled. Encircled is an ethical Canadian brand. They make really great wardrobe basics and staples and pieces that can be worn in multiple ways, which I think is a really cool part of what they do. These pants are amazing and I basically live in denim, but these are the only pants that rival how often I want to wear jeans. Like I will reach for these before I reach for jeans and I'm really kind of sad right now because I have the crop style so I can't wear them a lot in the winter but there have been multiple times in the past few weeks where I've just looked at these like oh I really want to wear these but I know that it's a little too cold for them so I'm really looking forward to when the weather changes and I can just start wearing these again every week like I used to. They're very easy to dress up. These would be ideal for like a workwear style pant because they're super comfortable. They're really stretchy. They have a nice elastic waistband, but when they're styled up, they do look pretty sleek and put together too. These are made out of 88% micro modal and 12% lycra. These are a nice heavier material too, so it makes them drape really well and they're very flattering. They have pockets and on me, I am 5'6 for reference. These hit about calf length on me, so they are quite cropped. And I actually recently discovered on their website that they do a full length version of these too, which I'm really considering because I don't have just a plain pair of like black pants like that. They're just wonderful. I'm sure you've seen these a lot in my styling videos and these are such a nice alternative to denim and that's coming from someone who would wear denim like every single day if I could. I wore denim for a majority of last year you know when I was working from home because I do like to feel a bit more put together in that way. It helps me be more productive during the day but the reality of sitting in your house wearing jeans all day long, I know is very unappealing to a lot of people. So a pair of like black stretchy pens like these really do wonders when you want to feel comfortable enough, but still put together and productive for your work day at home. Moving on to denim, the first pair that I wanted to mention are the redone stovepipe jeans. I heard a lot of great things about these jeans online before I finally decided to you know, invest in a pair of my own. So I did a full review of these jeans on my channel, I'll link that here, but I do have a few updates on that review. So I ordered a size 27, and from what I can tell, my waist size has not changed since I ordered them, but the jeans have become a lot looser on me, so I do think I may need to switch these out for a different size now. A lot of different retailers sell these, so there's a good chance that you can find them on sale if you're looking online, but if you have the chance to try them on in person, I highly recommend that as well because their sizing is a bit different. In that scenario, I always suggest just taking your measurements and then going by the size chart because I ordered my normal size in jeans and I would say these do run large. So I believe that I bought these around summertime and I wore them like nearly every day during the summer. I just love these so much. They're such a comfortable pair of jeans to wear during the summer because they're a looser, more relaxed fit, so they're really nice to wear when it's a bit warmer outside. There's just something about the high waist and the straight leg cut that make them very flattering and they look great on so many different body types too from what I've seen. I also love that they're raw edge to the denim and these are in a really nice mid-wash color too so they just look great with everything and in every season. And the next pair of denim that I want to talk about are the Levi ribcage jeans. So you all know I'm a big fan of the ribcage and the wedgie jeans. I did a video which was a sort of side-by-side -side comparison of these. And these are the straight leg style too, which I really love. I got these in the summer, but I wore them a lot, which sort of surprised me because they are a washed black color. And I was such a fan of the Levi wedgie jeans before, 
but honestly these are my new favorite style that they do because they are a lot more high-waisted and more fitted in the seat compared to the wedgie jeans which are more of like a mid-waist style and I just love a really high-waist jean and I've been wearing these a whole lot during the winter months naturally and I think that this straight leg cut really helps to update my wardrobe and just kind of give all my outfits a different feeling which is nice. With Levi's I also like that the sizing is very consistent at least in my experience with the wedgie and the ribcage jeans. So I went with my usual 27 inch and they fit like a glove. So next up I want to get into shoes and accessories. I have one bag that I wanted to feature and that is the Minor History True Crossbody Bag. So this I've had since October which is not that long but I feel like I needed to mention it because it's pretty much the only handbag that I've used since October. Granted I have not had to go out a whole lot and part of that is just sheer laziness and not wanting to change out the contents of my handbag every time I go out. But that also has to do with the fact that the style and size of this handbag makes it so great for everyday use. So I'm not someone who really loves to carry around a huge handbag, you know, I keep it pretty minimal. So this handbag is really nice because it's small enough for day to day where it's not, you know, too cumbersome for me, but it's also large enough to hold my vlogging camera on you know the rare occasion last year when I went out and vlogged somewhere I would bring this along with me it's also a crossbody bag I love having a hands-free crossbody bag it's just a lot more convenient for me but it is a detachable strap too so you know if I wanted to use this for a more dressy occasion I could just use it as a top handle bag like this and the shape is a bit more unique as well as the color too it's hard to really see the true color of it on camera because it looks a bit more like red or burgundy but it's actually a nice like plum color that I just don't really see all that often and it is a bit of like a pop of color in my wardrobe but everything I wear for the most part is very neutral so it does match pretty well with everything in my wardrobe and it's actually unlined but the quality of the leather is so high that it like doesn't really bother me it's actually a nice kind of design feature I think there's no wear on the handles it's not prone to scratches and it just looks as nice and pristine as when I first got it, which is always a great sign that a piece is going to last you a long time. And next up, I want to talk about shoes. So, you know, I spent a majority of last year living in San Diego, where I could basically wear sandals all year round, so that naturally influenced the shoes that I wore the most. But I have three pairs that I want to mention because they are wonderful. So the first pair I want to mention are the Nisolo Isla Slides. I purchased these in, I want to say August, um, which, you know, is still very much summertime where I lived. I love these because they're such a simple, classic design. I think I bought them in the sale. I actually sized up from a 9 to a 10. I would say that these run small, um, and I think they only go up to a 10 too, so it's kind of like tricky in that way. And I got these because I didn't really have any equivalent to this in my wardrobe. I just wanted a really simple black slide and these fit the bill perfectly. So they do have a tiny little stacked heel. They're all leather. They're from a wonderful ethical brand in Solo. It's such a cool brand and I love so many of their styles because they're just so sleek and minimal and simple and well made. And there's not too much to say about these because they are just so minimal. But I just thought I would mention these because if you're looking for something really simple, Nisolo is definitely a great brand to check out. And I have another pair of sandals I want to mention which I actually bought out of necessity but they have become a shoe that I just reach for regularly even in the winter too. These are the Birkenstock EVA Arizona Slides. They're a very popular shoe but for good reasons. So they're actually made out of a recycled plastic material but what I love about these is that they're all black including the hardware. They're kind of like a chunkier dad sandal um, so they have that kind of styling aspect that's a bit trendy right now but which I really personally like and I think it goes with my personal style very well. And I wore these a lot during the summer when I just wanted to slip on something comfortable and fast but I've actually been wearing them a lot in the winter too kind of as house shoes. They're actually a little bit dirty right now because I wear them into the garden in the mornings when the grass is all dewy. <laughs> and in these I went with my usual size which is a European 40 or a US 9 and they fit perfectly. And I'm actually wearing them a lot at the moment with socks too because they're just very comfortable and provide a good amount of arch support. <laughs> and the last pair of shoes I wanted to mention are these loafers. I believe these are called the Alicia loafers from Sarah Flint. 
Um, I'm really excited to say that I'm actually a Sarah Flint ambassador now, which means that I have a discount code that I can share with you. I'll pop that into the description box below. But I am a huge fan of their shoes because they are an investment, but they're just such high quality. They have really classic kind of elegant styles too. And if you watch my channel, you know that I'm a huge, huge fan of a black loafer. It's kind of my go-to flat shoe. And these actually have a pointed toe too, which I think makes them look a bit dressier than your rounded um, loafer. Although I do love a round loafer too. <laughs> And I also really like these because there's no hardware on them. So the other loafers that I wore a lot were my Sam Edelman Lorraine loafers, which I love. But they're a much different style to these. Those had a little gold hardware on them. And I would wear them a lot with my um, leather jacket, which had silver hardware. So that little detail kind of annoyed me a bit. Now when I wear that leather jacket, I tend to reach for these more because they don't have hardware on them. These are just beautifully made. They're all leather and they just fit so comfortably. There was absolutely no need to break them in. They were comfortable from the start. So these are the shoes I reached for a lot last year when I wanted a kind of dressier style. So that is actually everything. Those are my most worn pieces for 2020. The pieces that really helped make my capsule wardrobe functional and versatile and just helped make getting dressed in the morning a lot more fun. So I really hope you like this video and I'd love to know if you have any of your own 2020 wardrobe favorites. Leave those in the comments below. And if there's any particular video you'd like to see from me, please leave those in the comments. It's so helpful for me to know what you all are liking with this channel. So thank you all so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe for more and I will see you in the next one.